Howdy folks, it's Alex here, and welcome back to Tyranny. Last we left off, Trial by Combat. Brothers and sisters, who amongst you sets the standard for strength? Who amongst you will help winnow the weak from the strong? Fifth Eye waves his hands in the air, drawing in a gathering of chorus soldiers. Alright, just a bunch of randos we gotta fight. Our claimants have been assembled. Now let the trial of the Oathbreaker begin. Alright, let's have a look. Ooh. Excuse me. Battle music. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hell yeah. This battle music is pretty kick ass. Alright, so I guess we're gonna do that, Barrick. Viewer. Sure, do that. We got a lot of pause crap going on. Rust. I'm gonna totally quicken. Death from above. I have a lot of crap now. I gotta look at as combat goes on. With striking iron and iron tolling. Yeah, just go in there. Alright, now you have a quill strike. So basically like your throwing weapon. You have a healing spell. Or that's like a armor spell. Quicken. Restoring touch. There's your healing. Titan touch, which gives some buffs. Why don't you buff Mr. Barrick? Alright, that person is messing up. Why don't you attack that guy? That was in verse. That's a land tree. Let's go and use that ability Ready. right now. My sights. Okay. Let's use that. Go ahead and do that. They have automatic stuff that they're doing as well. Go after that person. <laughs> oh man, Verse is getting effed up. Can you... Entry? Not quicken. Dang it. Consider oh, oh, someone stitch me up. <laughs> Got dark all of a sudden. Alright, you Barrick. <laughs> well, things are not going as well. Won't happen. We're on fire. Alright, took that person down. We're on fire again. Alright. That was fun. <laughs> Alright. Verse needs to get up. Hopefully she's not dead. I think death might be a thing in this. By the righteous shedding of blood, we have found our answer. Regrettably, it appears the sage is worthy of leaving our camp alive. The fifth eye offers a short, mocking bow to Lantry. By the customs set forth by the voices of Norat, you are free to go, old man. Brag to your grandkids that you fell afoul of the chorus, yet live to tell the story. Alright, so... Yeah, let's just now see if he's worth the effort. Gracious fate binder. The sage holds his hand up, cowering backwards. I am humbled that you would put yourself at risk for me. I assure you, you will have my full obedience and cooperation. I thought I'd die tied to that post. The sage looks down to his rope-worn wrist in disbelief. Now hand me that parchment. I'm certain I can decipher it. Alright. She's still down. <laughs> She's down over here now. Well, much of the apartment was weathered, but I could make out the important parts of the text. The note makes mention of a meeting spot west of Tripnettle. Now I got another place unlocked on the map. 
So the old sage knows his words after all. I'd ask that you travel ahead to see if you can't get this Captain Florian to yield to the chorus. They will strike at first sight of a chorus gang, but perhaps they will parlay if yours is the face they see. I know the area, and I suggest we go at once. I'll show you the way. I'm eager to be far from the stench of this camp. Yeah, something's amiss. There's a lot of fight in you for an old scholar. Now you're offering to join this expedition? First, I've met sages every bit as cutthroat and hard as hardened gang bosses. They act the part of doddering scribes, but don't let that fool you. Smart for someone your age to be so mistrusting, but I'm not with the Oathbreakers, if that's what you're fishing at. I've worked for them under duress, but I've no love for them. I'm not about to pledge to the chorus. And the disfavored wouldn't have me. Still, I consider myself Kairos fearing vassal of the Overlord's Empire all the same. For as long as I've been a sage, I've been trained to defend myself. We don't spend all our time binding books and sketching wildlife, just most of it. For centuries, we've been in a quiet war with the School of Tides and the School of Wild Wrath. You can't travel alone as much as I do and not know the Bronze Dance. In your little quill dagger, just for decoration. Well, I mean, sages always need to have a quill handy, so it just sort of blends into the ensemble on a casual glance. And the customary term is bladed remix. Remix, but who's keeping track? Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how... Um... Yeah, if I knew more how, like, Beastmen worked... I'm gonna say that we're gonna go with, like, uh... Chewbacca rules here. <laughs> like, life debt. Like, you owe me a life debt, Lantry, for this, okay? So swear fealty to me, and I will let you leave this place with me. If that is your price, I will pay it. I, Sage Lantry of the School of Ink and Quill, do pledge my services and skein to the Fate Binder, and by extension, to the Court of Tunan. He dips into a steep bow before rising with a solemn smile. I know I may seem old and frail, but I know how to step lightly and how not to get killed. Really, I won't slow you down. Lead the way and let me know if I can be of service. Well, that's true, because you didn't die in the last fight or get knocked unconscious. First did. And she's just laying on the ground. Are we done here? Let's hightail it to trip nettle. Your new pet doesn't behave himself along the way. I'm not above clipping his ears. Well, you gotta get up first. Alright, so do you have anything? Oh yeah, we did this. Just like a stance thing. Right now it's plus 20 dodge. That didn't really help. You know, more accurate, maybe. I see as the crow flies. All right, so we got Lantry. We got, I'm going to talk to, like, everybody here. Right, Lantry, you have two attribute points. All right, so soon, let's put that up to 15, and then we'll work on... What else? What else? Building and spell cooldown, maybe? Quickness? It seems... Oh, will magic defense. Edict of execution gives plus one resolve. So technically it's 12. Um, does that help him out at all? Let's see what helps him out and what doesn't. Alright, so this affects lore. And doing the weapons, I guess. Yeah, let's put that up. Go ahead and save that. We saved everybody else. All right, Lantry, you have two talent points with so Quill, Sage, and Preservation. So it'd probably be a good idea to have a healer. Improves control life. Improves control vigor. 
I'm assuming... Yeah, we can go just two and two into that. Greater Renewal. Weapon damage and armor. We get a buff and better heal. I think we'll focus him in this direction. And we'll see what all these other ones have to offer. But I do like the fact of that. Okay. Until you have the Sigil of Life. So now we have someone with lore. And so possibly we can read this, right? Read scroll. So we just got a spell core, the Sigil of Illusion. Yeah, spell creation. We'll look at all this later, but we do have a core. We don't we do have an expression. Okay, so we do have one that we can do. Spectral Blur, which it aids deflection. I'm guessing, yeah, okay, it makes us harder to hit. Why not? Okay. Alright, so yeah, let's give him another spell. Why not? Okay, so we got him a little illusion spell. Got scholar robe, scholar boots, scholar gloves, accessory helmet, two accessories and a helmet. Let's have a light leather helm. Might as well equip it. Everybody else has headwear of some sort. Got a little quill. Yeah, we only got two copper to our names. At once. All right, everybody. Will I'll do. Really look at. So she doesn't have using these effects. So she doesn't have any ill effects towards her. What's our subject now? Still forty-five. Yeah, she doesn't have any ill effects towards being knocked out. Right. So yeah, let's grab what we can from your bent broadsword. All right. So what I'm gonna do now. Is any crap that we've accumulated from this camp. We're just going to go ahead and sell. And uh, we'll be right back after we've uh, sold everything and ready to move on to the next thing. Alright. Baz and Reg trade conversation at Hectic Whispers. Do you feel strange? Yeah. Rubs her shoulder, his shoulder nervously. Ever since the Fate Binder spoke Kairos' edict, I felt like bugs were crawling under my skin. They notice you approach, mixed expressions. Oh, didn't see you there, Fate Binder. So yeah, these guys have had interesting little side conversations. Every time we've talked to them, they haven't really noticed it. I mean, I, haven't, I didn't notice it the second time around, and now the third time. They've just always had something else to say. You know, usually in games you get the, you know... The first, whenever you like first encounter someone, you get that interaction. Then the next time you get that, you know, just random interaction. But now we don't. But we're gonna oh, subterfuge again. Use the maximum number of times this level. So we trained up as much as we can. Subterfuge is now 49. Was that enough for this? Yes, it was. Because we're 40. All right, so we'll get we'll go and do that, and uh, see what's in here. We sold off a bunch of crap. We uh, equipped the quick finger bangles because it's plus one quickness, and that helps out with dual wield, unarmed dodge, and subterfuge, and it reduces our ability cooldown by having it up there. And so I say, why not? And then we got blood soaked boots, which are light armor. They're fine quality, and they give a disengagement defense and have goring. So let's look at what is goring. Plus 25% hit precision on targets below 35% health. 
Okay. Uh, so what's this? Plus two. I think it's plus, you know, goes from plus two to plus six. Deflection goes up two percent. And we get the goring effect. So I think those are better for you. And then let's put these in the stash. Blood soap boots. And she, sure, she's fine with that. She's used to it. Is there something... Yeah, there's something over here. That we can kind of look at. And uh, as far as that... Uh, one... Place... Yeah, just a body on a... Wooden pike. Let me talk to you. Doesn't look like it can. No. So we just lost... Lost the gold. Even though it doesn't make any sense. Like we just took Good our thing I keep a torsion wrench handy. Took our cold took our gold back. Alright, so she just did that, and that kinda up there's things. Up there stuff. Alright, so where to next is the question. We've unlocked a few new areas that we haven't been able to see yet, so let's have a look. So there's a remote settlement. The village is far from the major settlements and has not been involved in the conflict. It may be possible to recruit. So that's the like side quest that the Scarlet Fury person sent us on. Trip Nettle is the one that they say is of the most urgent. Apart from the crossing. And this, I still don't remember where we heard about this. Or if we if we indeed did or not. Talk about earth shakers. I don't think. Oh, hello. Yeah, never seen that before. Let's not look at that just yet. I want to look at our quest log. Nope. Tag. Nab it. Where are our quests? There we go. Jump thing. So trip nettle. Wait. Okay. Earth Shaker Reinforcements. Okay, so yeah, they did... You agree to investigate. Doesn't tell us who we agreed to. Maybe it was... Uh, Graven Ash. Maybe it was Graven Ash who told us about this. So, we gotta talk to... We gotta do all these things. When I say we gotta do all these things. We got a lot of things to do. And I think the recruitment is low priority. It might be something we do on the way back from this thing. There's this crossing here, which seems main, uh, main questy and also important and pending. Um, so they want us to recruit. He wants us to find these people. And so... When we like wrap up as much as we can around here and head back to like the disfavored camp, I'm assuming we have to head back to check in and get like the next orders from someone or the next, you know, thing that we need to do for them. Then we'll probably head back to Edgerim Ruins real quick and grab that one. I think there was a box that we couldn't unlock. But, again, that's even less priority than this, since we have time to do it. So, out of all these, I think we're going to go towards this area first and see if we get stopped along the way for anything. We do! Okay. We have one of these encounters. Alright, as you make your way along one of the wild dirt roads, the winds... Through the forest of old apex that winds through the forest of old apex oops the mountains loom above you on every side and only the mountain spire jutting skyward from the center of the broken realm provides a consistent landmark by which to navigate cresting a hill you make out a flash of light on bronze through the trees accompanied by the movement of several individuals that much bronze you realize must indicate a group of oath breakers and they seem to be just around the next bend in the road okay so we can approach them quietly, we can approach openly, or we can avoid them. 
Let's approach them quietly. All right. Keeping low and using the thick foliage as cover, you move carefully through the underbrush, marking the concave bend in the road. The far side of the bend slowly resolves in your view, revealing not one patrol of warriors, but two. You just continue. Apex heraldry and heavy bronze scale marks the first group as members of the Vindrian Guard. The other warriors, however, wear rings of bronze set in heavy curled, cured leather, a sigil on their tabard styled in the likeness of the Bane. You have heard of a group of brutal mercenaries out of Haven adopts similar heraldry. So we can avoid them, we can attack, we can speak, or we can spy. Let's spy. Let's see what this meeting is about. Moving with extreme care, you close to within listening distance of the two groups. As you eavesdrop, it becomes immediately clear that the Vindrian Guard hope to recruit the mercenaries, explaining to them in no certain terms that if the citadel of Vindrian Wall falls, Kairos Edict will slay every tearsman confined within the valley. Such is the way of the Overlord. The Oathbreaker tells the mercenary, his troops die, or we all die. There's no middle road, no parlay, and no quarter. So we can expose the lie, or we can sneak away. Let's ex yeah, this is the time where we can come in and be like, um, actually... Alright, you step forward, revealing yourself from the brush, sending the tearsmen scrambling to ready a bristling bronze wall of spears, swords, and shields. You point at the guardsman, calling out his self-serving lie. The mercenaries have little to gain from working with the Vindrian Guard, and everything to lose. The Edict of Execution shall slay those in the valley... Only if the citadel does not fall. Kairos is for You should know, you tell them, the edict was issued by my lips. Even as the Vindrian guardsmen howl for your head and advance on you with weapons drawn, the mercenaries holster their arms and withdraw to the woods. So, haha. So, yeah, they didn't get the mercenaries. I'm going to finish it, Northern Lap Dog. Alright. Your day is end. All right, so we got a, a lot of fighting going on. Go after this guy. Zainer fight me. Hey, Zainer, have at him. All right, you guys, fight him, you know? Here. All right. Go ahead and use that ability. All right, we got the bow. We can do a heart shot. We just go ahead and let's have it then. Buff him up. <laughs> buff him up, and then blur her. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Fucking Landry up. Throwing touch. How you do that to yourself? Oh my God, Landry. All right, they had someone in uh, Don't enjoy the someone who was very naughty. Just as much as I, I do. Right. Ah. All right, there, there, bleeding. Ah. Yeah, it was a big whiff on his part. Ouch! All right. Let's uh, heal up if we can. Alright, that's good. Alright, so we got all that. <laughs> Waiting on that to happen up. Alright, tell you what. We need to take her out. That freaking piece of crap. God, she, that thing is not helping. But they're stupid, stupid disappearing act. Useless. I should try something else. Dag, nab it. All right, that doesn't give us a uh, game over right now, which is good. 
I guess everybody has to be knocked out for there to be game over. That's good. Alright, so you have nothing to do but just wait for this uh, to resolve one way or another. I got my... Uh, it's on us. Obviously. Alright, so that... Again, not did any, not done anything. Mm, I guess we'll just heal up. Will do. All right, so just gives us things to sell off, really. Okay, got light leather gauntlets. Those are of use. So do we? Did we make it to our destination? Keen Javelin. Common. Common stuff. Alright, got some more water. More water. We'll head around and have a look at stuff, but... Yeah, it looks like everything's just, uh, go and do the thing. All right, I know she leveled up. We'll level her up once we finish the journey. We can. All right. And what do we got here? We got fake limp. <laughs> I got some scarlet chorus here. All right, let's have a look at verse. Okay, so we finesse up that up to 15, and then we can taunt, which so far has been working great. We can move quickly throughout the battlefield too quickly for them to engage her. After she kills someone, she will strike twice. When an enemy strikes, she gains a passive bonus to dodge and parry. That's very interesting. I like that. I'll do that. Yes. Yeah, I know that nobody else leveled up or has any talents or attributes, but it never hurts to check. All right. Gonna unlock that, why not? Got topaz and a potion of revival. Plus one wounds removed. I haven't seen anything wound ish. Now we're down to seven days. Seven days. Oh boy. You got it. Let's not let that turn into Honest. that. Alright, let's have a talk with fake limp. Reinforcements? Finally, come this way. We need to. The chorus warrior pumps his tattooed arm and salute. Midway through the gesture, a look of confusion dawns across his painted face. Sister Verse, what did I do to deserve such a helping hand? A chuckle escapes the man before he shudders. Placing a hand over his mouth and at once alert of the need to remain quiet, his voice drops to a harsh whisper. The fifth eye has a sense of humor sending you. Verse returns a cold glare but says nothing. You two know each other? This one used to run with my pack until he left for Death Nell's gang. Motherless swine didn't even have the guts to fight me for the right to leave. He just packed up and left with his coward's tail between his fat legs. <laughs> and wise move at that. How many have you lost under your command so far? He holds up a hand, stifling a smile. I misspoke. I'm sure you only got most of them killed. Can't rule out death by their own incompetence. Seems Death Knell didn't take my advice and have you gelded to curb your outbursts. Yikes. Her straws are blades in a fluid motion. Alright, if you want to find him, if you want to fight him, I got your back. We do have a mission here. So we can do an intimidation thing of grabbing him by the neck and tell him to apologize. Or we could tell her to store our blades to store for you. Uh, hmm. I don't think he... I don't think Zathaios wants or needs 
these guys as help. So, but, and he doesn't want to fight him either at this point. Yikes. <laughs> so, I'm thinking that this is one of the small times that he intimidates. With a swift, confident stride, you advance on fake limp and grip his neck before he can step away. His stance wobbles as you clench down on his throat, and he presses his arms against you, desperate to push you away. At last, he tears himself away from your grip, gasping for air and clutching at his throat. I am sorry, Mistress Verse. I did not, I did not mean any disrespect. Of course you did, and I couldn't care less. Just know this. You're not good enough to do it to my face. Clean yourself up. <laughs> Apologies. I've been in the field for weeks. Answering to no one, I've forgotten my place. Their camp is just yonder, he points to the northeast, and we've kept an eye on them for the past couple of days. Some of them left a few hours ago, looking for food, maybe out on patrol, but they haven't returned yet. Might be wise to strike now while they're divided. What's your plan now? I lost two of my gang in the mountains. We've been on half rations for days, so until we get a much larger contingent, we're not likely to win any fight we start. Now that you're here, I figure my gain will hold back and keep an eye out for trouble and maybe swoop in if things get messy. Too cowardly to fight. I see how it is. Yes, haha. -ha. His wooden laughter is followed by a roll of his eyes. If I'm to throw away the lives of my gang, it will be in pursuit of something far more grandiose and profitable. My gang and I, I will lurk nearby. When you make your move, we'll descend and help with capturing Florian. Don't worry. I'll let the others know you did the heavy lifting. I'll cheat at battle, but not with my reputation. Okay. Yes. Oh, we do have a stealth toggle. What is that? Just... Yeah, we do. Alright. I was wondering about stealth. So we do Spotted have it. something. Alright, we got camping supplies. He's kind of... Okay, we have... We just added one more. Is that Staff of Boreal Frost? That'll be something for our mage to look at, right? Yeah, this is nothing that way. And this is like combat. Okay, it's telling us there will be combat here. Sun Soldiers. Okay, there's Sun Soldiers there. Alright, let's run up here and just explore a little bit I'll Found something. I'm definitely not gonna be that person who sneaks around <laughs> the entirety of maps just walks this slowly just to uh, just to find things that are hidden Alright, looks like this might be maybe a way in, no? Can't move these. Alright, I guess not. Alright. Alright, let's toggle. Alright, so we gotta fight these guys over here. We can't go through here, we have to go through this way. Alright. I'll be your shadow. Alright, can we... I'm gonna set up a party thing. Huh. Yeah, there's a trap there. Okay, can we... Yeah, okay, that's what I do. Custom. So I'm gonna do... Barrack in front. And then... Let's do in the back. Just kind of do like that for now. And that's our formation that we're going to go into. Alright, so there's traps there, and that's a weird looking trap. Let's Heads just up. Uh, get that going. Let's flip and set it. We can take on that person. We have company. Smash the pieces! 
All right, first, I need you to go after this person. Please, thank you. First, attack that person. You got it. Thank you. Goodness me. It's sometimes so hard to... Well, not so hard, but just difficult to control. All right. We got Titan's Touch. Right. Again. Buff our man. Sorry, can't do that. All right, that Fall just before me. happened. No, this weapon is useless. All right, keep going. This is useless. I should try something else. All right, there we go. All right, everybody, attack her. He's gonna heal Barrack. Very nice. All right. Yeah, I'm sure that was. They won't see me coming. Not loud at all. I go ahead and disarm the trap. Trap disarmed. I got it. So what do we got? Anything interesting? Wounded. Wounds are cleared on rest. Okay, so... Technically, Lantry and... The Thios are wounded. So that's how it shows up. It shows up like right there. It doesn't show up here, which I thought it might. Might. There. See that? Right. Yeah. Right. All right. Let's. Uh... No, 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 no. All right. Disarm, please. Reverse, if you would be so kind. Before they see you. Right. Okay. All right, is uh, our friend gonna show up here? Thank you. Heads up! We have to All right, you go there. You just taunt. Up All right, so we want you to mite him up. What do? We and then you're evading. All right, you back away. You do that. And that's. I can't move. Ah, oh, you're freaking. No, take, take that guy down, cause that guy is a problem. All right, we're rooted. Might as well. We're in range of one another. there. Right. That was interesting. Yeah, just... Shoot him up. Whew. Take that! Much, much better. Okay, I can grab broken helmet, broken da, bronze da. I say broken, yeah. Uh, it was broken da. Okay, disarm this sucker. Get more subterfuge. Let's see, like, where's the main area? So is this one of those? Games in which the subterfuge, or like the sneak mode, doesn't have a speed up function. I'm not seeing one right off the bat. I'll be your shadow. If that's so, then that is unfortunate. Alright, there's the guy that we're looking for. And so we will take care of that guy next time. So, till next time, this has been Zadias. Signing out for now. Bye, folks.